Hey guys, this is Callum from English Shooting and welcome back to the channel. It's a bit of a dual video today. We're going to be covering two different stories, but the overall topic is ranges that need your help. Some of you may remember a video that was put out a few weeks ago about a range up in Scotland in the Eskdale Moor area. The range was under attack by Buddhist monks. Well, that's what the locals would like you to believe. Really, the attacks were coming from a bunch of grumpy clipboard wielding locals that didn't like the idea of people enjoying a safe legal and responsible sport things have updated since then and that's what i want to cover first there has been some good news and slightly bad news so a member of the committee has got in touch to give me the update they've had a little bit of a back and forth with the planning changing a few things here and there they've come under pressure from the police who then had to do a, an assessment or required an assessment before they could give the sign off and a little bit of a side news on that there are the rumors and whisperings that going forward a independent contractor or independent person is going to have to sign off every single range and this is going to be similar to the conditions of an on an FAC which is somebody with adequate knowledge and experience it's very vague there's actually no guidance on who has adequate experience and knowledge and what experience and knowledge you need to have to be able to sign it off but they have recommended range safety limited they actually wrote the guidance on safe range construction for the police training academy so it sounds like a lot of rangers are probably going to need these sorts of services going forward from what the the rumors are so check out range safe limited if you are interested but the company came down they did a full assessment to satisfy the police and satisfy the local council and planning and with a couple of minor amendments to their two kilometer range they are able to push that through so from what they are saying they have been successful on the planning front and the planning that they have means that if they want to put in any more bays or any more ranges across the entire site then they will be able to do so without notifying the planning permission so they effectively have free reign now something to get in beforehand as a bit of context from looking on google maps at the closest point it's one and a half miles and the monastery and the local residents are still up in arms if you would remember there was a previous petition from the monastery and the locals that reached 22,000 signatures well they've now started an official Scottish government petition which is calling for an exclusion zone around all religious institution so this isn't just about this one range and this one monastery they are trying to get it written into law in scottish law that you are not allowed a range within a certain area of any religious institution now with most villages and most towns having at least one church this is going to have a serious effect if it ever gets put forward this petition has since picked up support from the likes of the guardian newspaper local drive time radio shows and even celebrities such as annie lennox I'm going to just go out there and say neither of those three have a single clue about what it takes to run a safe and proper range and probably just more virtue signaling from these celebrities and newspapers. So there is still a fight to be had. There is still the petition in favor of this range. It has 8,000 signatures, just over 8,000 signatures. So if you want to go and add to that, please do so. It is going to still help. So the link will be below. So no doubt they have a few speed bumps to get over still, but they seem to have got the biggest hurdles out of the way. They've got their planning permission and the range has been signed off. So those guys are full steam ahead. They are planning a big competition with people coming nationwide to it 
at the back end of September. Again, I'll put any details in the description below if, if you want to go and check out, if you want to join them, you want to join that competition. I'm going to try and get up there myself. I really want to see the facility, make a, a full video of it and show you what facilities they have there, what different ranges, what different distances. But just having a two kilometer range, that is easily going to be the furthest that I've ever shot. And I certainly want to give that a go and really does stress how important this this new range is to the UK shooting community. Shooting at two kilometers is not an easy feat, both technically for the shooter, but also logistically for the range. There are few and far between ranges that you can shoot at those distances here in the UK, and the majority of them are MOD. So it's very rare to have a private range where you can stretch the legs of your rifle that much. Now onto the second part of this video and another range that needs your help. It will take you five minutes to really give them the boost and protection that they need. This is a little bit closer to home for me because the range is in Tunbridge Wells and it is home to the Tunbridge Wells Target Shooting Club. The council don't seem to value the community hub that a range offers, not forgetting that shooting is one of, if not the most inclusive sports out there. All ages, all sexes, all creeds enjoy shooting here in the UK and they provide fantastic facilities for national level shooters. But the council has other ideas. They want to do a land grab and a land for cash grab by selling off the range, completely demolishing it and building five luxury houses. How you can help is by following the link in the description below. I'll also put it in the comment section below. It takes you five minutes to sign up and to put in a complaint. What the range needs is a hundred complaints to be able to have their voice heard to open up further channels of communication in stopping this land grab. You shouldn't need to really think that hard about all of the reasons why this is a bad idea. This isn't going to benefit the community. It's actually going to remove one of the largest ranges in Kent. There are going to be hundreds of shooters that use this, a real community there. They are providing facilities for national level shooters and also providing facilities, again, for all people of all ages. So putting five luxury houses, that is going to benefit five families rather than the hundreds of shooters that are going to be using this facility i really don't see how the the scales can fall towards the houses it is most definitely in favor of the range so please do go through and sign up and lodge your complaint this isn't limited to people just living in kent or uh, within that area of the country really anybody can lodge this complaint and i really would urge you to put the best case forward of why this range should continue to operate so there we go you can again help out two different ranges here i'm going to try and follow both stories as best as possible it'd be great to get up to either of these ranges to really show you guys what we could potentially be missing as a community but please go and follow those links give these rangers a helping hand so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you found it interesting if you have please give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing for any future videos and as always guys i hope to see you soon